Hello and thanks for joining me. This is going to be a short little video. This is a follow-up video to my uh, the one I did on chuck overhang. I was discussing this problem with uh, some other Logan lathe owners and I was telling them, I, I did this once before, I put a bar in there in my chuck and I, I pushed up and down on the bar and took some measurements here at the end of my chuck and I assumed it was the spindle flexing but I found something different and I think you'll be surprised. Let's go, let's take a look at it. Okay, here's what I got. An uh, inch and a half bar, what is that about? That's three feet. Uh, I got the dial indicator set up on the donut. I use my four jaw because I cut the donut off my three jaw. Uh, let me see if I can't move the camera up there and get a shot of that dial indicator. Okay, can't get a very good shot of it. But here's... That's probably about... I have no way of knowing for sure. Probably about 30 pounds both ways. So what was that? Five thousandths? Yeah, four or five thousandths. That's right, right on the donut on the back of the spindle. Or the back of the chuck, rather. See there? Okay, I got the dial indicator set up at the end of the chuck there. Right next to the jaw. Let's see what I get. Get about one turn, which is five, ten, fifteen, that's twenty thousandths movement. Okay, I remembered a little wrong, but it's still a considerable amount of movement. Now I need another set of eyeballs where I can uh, maybe see where I'm getting that movement. Well, maybe my camera is my extra set of eyeballs here. I'm zoomed in on the, uh, that's the backing plate and the donut on the back of this chuck and that's the uh, bearing cap and let's watch that gap right there. Well, I couldn't look at the camera while I was doing that. Did you see anything? I'll have to review the, the uh, file and see what I see. Thanks for joining me.